All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranieri as we uh, hit kind of the middle of the week right yes. now, Jeff. And how are we? How are things going on outside? It seems like temperatures have calmed down a little bit. And we're going to get temperatures to go even cooler as we head through the end of this week. I know a lot of folks in the inland valleys want even colder weather to come in. It's always a nice treat here when we head through July. But you can see right now in San Francisco, that fog is coming back in strong. If you're headed there tonight, it is cool. Classic summer weather here, 63 degrees. Winds out of the west northwest at 25. And and temperatures eventually dropping into the 50s and that fog staying put now across the inland valleys as I talked about much hotter. We're at 91 degrees now, but look at how fast it cools off by 8 and 9 o'clock. We're already in the 70s and eventually by 10 o'clock we're going to be cooling it down to the 60s. Now I do see weather just like this as we head through tomorrow because we're basically sandwiched in between two different systems. We have high pressure here to the south that's pulling up that inland heat for us, but then this low pressure offshore that's what's keeping the fog going at the coastline. Now, eventually, we're going to see this system right here move across the West Coast, and that's when we do expect some cooler weather uh, coming our way as we roll into Friday's forecast. So let's go ahead and get a look right now, and you can see that fog again is right here moving into San Francisco. So that means tomorrow morning, not only fog in San Francisco, but some low clouds through the North Bay, East Bay, and South Bay with some spotty drizzle. We will clear out from this. It will be another day with sunshine uh, once we hit the afternoon forecast away from the coast. So all in all, I think we're setting ourselves up with a nice Thursday forecast. You'll see we'll start it off here with plenty of 50s. You might need a light jacket out here to the Tri-Valley at 58. Uh, let's get a look here over the North Bay 54, San Francisco coming in at 55. Daytime highs as we move through tomorrow. Again, don't adjust a whole lot. We're going to find those big variations here. You get closer to the bay, we're at 85 in Cupertino. Then there's that heat coming in, Morgan Hill 94. Now those contrasts are a lot more apparent here when you look at Oakland at 71. Get back to those inland valleys. We're at a high. 95 in Concord. Really, some of the best weather here through the peninsula. 76 in Redwood City and then up to Daly City. 62, chilly 50s and 60s in San Francisco. And through the North Bay, got it up as hot as 99 in Clear Lake. And you head to Point Reyes, we're at a much cooler 62. So microclimates in full effect across the Bay Area as we roll through tomorrow's forecast. You'll see in San Francisco, we hold with those 60s for highs next seven days, 50s for those morning lows. And through the inland valleys, eventually we drop it down real quick here Friday to 86. Go back up a little bit this weekend, but not too hot with some low 90s. And then eventually next week, we drop it back down into some more 80s. So even though we got some on and off uh, warm weather here through the Bay Area, at least again, we are staying out of any kind of heat wave category. And that once again is excellent news for that fire danger. Yeah, that's for sure. All right. Thank you, Jeff.